Attack on Titan, Chapter 108, Sound Argument Is relief that the volunteers have been apprehended successfully. If its commander picks this, then he'll get it done without problems. Should have been our job, though. Six guys eating meal, drinking what looks to be wine and coffee. Say, even if everything goes well, we're causing the very group who's done so much for us to resent us. Is that simply towards the Marlins now? Seems like you're completely drunk, Lack. The wine that the Marlins make is great, and the, and the favors they bring meet no end. Even, even if that is the case, we still cannot let them be free. Maybe it'd be a different story if the boss they looked up to was really on our side. We are the subjects of your mirror. And if Aaron and Zeke use the power of the founding titan, then can they not just change the memories of the masses? Yeah, it's a very scary thought. So, even if we use the volunteers as hostage, do you think Zeke Yeager will listen to our demands? Heck if I know. What a man who doesn't have long to live wishes for. The guy can also take control of our brains. But, huh? Well, I knew it would have ended up like this. Just as we initially planned, as soon as Zeke arrived on the island, we should have fed him to the titanized Queen Historia. But to think, ha, huh, that she would get pregnant. From some guy she didn't even marry. She's just a useless nobody, and a queen name only. It's like, hey, stop, looks at him. The queen has the authority to choose her heirs are. Wasn't it also proven that he's also someone who doesn't harm the lives of anyone else? A whole story like, and stuff but hey is the same youth that has grown up on the same land as Queen Astoria he said that he threw stones at the queen who did not seem to come out of the farm during her childhood it was an act done to give her attention and the roles reversed he also states that helping out at the, at the orphanage the queen runs was because of the feeling of sin he had felt from what he had done in childhood. The one who had recognized his dedication of lowering his head and doing his work was the queen herself. There's no need to know what kind of relationship they hold between each other. The problem is why the queen committed such an act. Seeing as she's the, she's the country's monarch, it's because we coerced her like a puppet. Such a tragic fate was passed down to her. And who even has the right to question the queen's relationships? That's not what I meant. It's the time of, the, of this pregnancy. At this time, I haven't a child with royal blood. Our exception was nullified. Their exception. Someone had warned the queen. The garrison is thinking of feeding Zeke to the queen. As soon as possible. He's cloaked. Or she? Probably he. I don't know. However, you won't have to become a Titan until, you, until after you deliver. Someone advised her so. Isn't the Queen also a brave soldier who managed to escape from some dangerous situations? So now she's suddenly scared of the, of the, of the ascension of the Beast Titan. If Zeke wished that he had wanted to live for a little longer during his tenure, then that would be correct. But is there even evidence of this idea? Dude's pouring more wine. Someone from this island, who had wanted to save Zeke, had advised the queen, the volunteers. It has to be uh, Yelena. They say that she's the craziest one and, the, and one of the smartest among the volunteers, which makes her a dangerous girl. But there is no evidence that the queen was impregnated in order to save Zeke's life. Wait, aren't you just wasted, Lack? Open the bottle. Oh, he's done. It's not too late. If she, can, if she becomes a Titan even with a child, the baby would die. Moreover, if something happens to the queen's body, that's the end of it. Even so, her life is threatened by the delivery of the child anyway. Like, finish the one. The world is done for. If you go by that logic, huh? 
Hey, Marlin, bring more one. Bring one more bottle. Understood. Goes. Oh, Niccolo. This is what you recommend, yes? Okay. Narcotic group. Mikasa. Armin. And Jean. To think that General Pixis would even put that plan into motion. They said that everything had been decided while we were in Marley. The volunteers would be in the wait. Pensioned? The volunteers would be pensioned their own areas. Okay. And they had not told the Survey Corps the circumstances, as the time for them and us to be in union is close by. They couldn't have done it like that. Until Zeke's intent has been verified. We are all currently in danger. And Aaron, who talked with Zeke exclusively, is now in he wait, and is now in huge favor of Zeke's plan? I wonder what they talked about. Only they would know the truth. Kind of like, hey, you guys. Did that seem like Aaron? Okay. I don't think so. That that guy isn't Aaron. If he ends up cooperating with the other side. If he does, what? Oh, Mikasa's like getting protective. We should be resolved to cut down that guy. It's like, I won't be staying still if that's the case. Kind of looks at her like angrily. Huh? Are you also going to side with them? Mikasa? It's like, looks at him, looks down. I'm not going to. Aaron treasures us more than any, anyone else. We got them laying down r railroad tracks one year ago. Hey, is this really our is this really our job? No, we don't have to do it. That idiot. Wait, if that idiot go about saying something weird, okay, such as this helping training our bodies, and will help the island's development. Currently, we can only sit and wait for Hazaru's reply. Like because oh, wait, is that Sasha like chugging the? A bunch of water? Like okay. Is there any chance of that hap of that even happening? What was it? Some about the Eldians human rights or selling resources? The most important thing is that we talk to the world through Azaru. And if we improve relations and become a country for ourselves, then we won't even have to rely on the rumbling plan. With that, Hastori wouldn't have to suffer through such terrible circumstances. We only grasp as we can only grasp as straws right now. Right. Hey, huh? We got Hanji and Levi come in. It's hot today. Things with ever. No, we had no choice as this idiot's as court. <laughs> Aaron. It's an urgent require wait. It is an urgent requirement. You guys only grew in size, it seems. He's talking about the brains. Just now, we received a reply from the Azuma Bitos. Huh? So? It's a failure. Seeing how it is, they probably can't aid us. Oh, shoot. As expected, Azari will want a monopoly on Paradise Island's resources and won't allow the trading of them with other countries. It seems they do wish for our human rights, but they are putting on weird, a weird farce. As if they don't want to help anyone. Not only that, but the world seems to hope that paradise will be a center of a, a center for disaster, so that other countries can remain stable. Oh, then we have no choice but to trust in using the rumbling. Is there no way to sacrifice Soria? Oh, is there no way to not sacrifice the story? Yes. Azari has intended for the rumbling and also included increasing our forces as part of the treaty. No way. Is the world forcing the evils of 100 years ago onto us? They don't know our intent and concludes that we're, we are devils on behalf of us. Why is everyone so against the peaceful path? Uh, that's probably because they don't know. They're scared as they don't know what kind of people who we are. This is weirdly translated. That's right. 
Nothing will change even if we went along with the plan Azubito has set up. The world cannot trust people whose faces they have not seen, so let's go meet them. If there is something we don't know, we can go there to understand. Levi's looking at him. Is that not the Survey Corps way? So they branch out. Now on the train. To infiltrate Marley and stand in, in their position. You were thinking of that, Hanji. First thing to see would be the Marley cuisine. No. Is that Sasha saying that? There, uh, there's a reason as to why we're investigating the circumstances of the world currently. Well, it, it ended in asking for help uh, from either the volunteers or Miss Koyomi. Hmm, well, what should I bring? It wouldn't be good to have an upset stomach. Huh? Gastritis medicine, toothbrush, anything to remind us of home. Were you even listening? Niccolo said that there are many people with wine. Thankfully, the Elden language is also a common language. There are a lot of countries we can, communi we can communicate with. We have to be careful with our accent and phrasing though. If the world knew we wish for peace, then, as Hanji said, something might change. If only we had more time. Zeke only has two years left. I have about five years left. Look at him. I need to sign soon. Who will inherit my titan? You gonna be Mikasa? I won't inherit it. I can't. Oh, yeah, because Mikasa's not part of them. You still don't know what kind of family the, uh, the Ackerman family is. And I thought that since you were half, since you are half Asian, you're not sure whether you can even inherit the Titan's power. Yes, I don't know. We can't have someone closely affiliated with Hazaru become a Titan. There are also many other reasons as to why you can't become one, Mikasa. He's right. Then who else? Me. Oh, Eighteen. To put it simply, my head is much big. My head is much better than your than Aaron's. I won't go crazy and try to kill myself or anything of the sort. And I'll exhibit excellent judgment while carrying out a mission. That's who I am. I don't like interfering. Wait, I don't like inheriting it from you. But is there any other genius than me? I don't know. Genius is genius. You can't have someone great like that die in 13 years then, idiot. Huh? You should become the leader of the ministry or something. The one inherent Aaron's Titan will be me, Connie. Aaron. Uh, that'll be great, yeah? It's like, Connie. It's like, it's better than Jean, right? Me? I don't like it. You're a fool. What? Not what? How can we leave something so important to an idiot? It's like, what? Ha. Huh. You drive me crazy. I was going mad. I'll inherit it. Wait, what? Among us. I can be trusted. And I, and I have practical experience. I'm the only one left after the process of elimination, anyway. You all. You don't want to do it. You're saying you don't want to. Like, no. That's just weird. What? Yes. No. Weren't you the one who said... That we can't leave this to an idiot. Huh? Asha. You're even more stupid than I am. So you're contradicting yourself. Can you see that? It's like, yes. Yeah? Huh? I have no intention of leaving it to you guys. I so. Oh, Aaron? You guys are all uh, precious to me. More than anyone else. That's why. I'd like for you all to live long lives. So now we're gonna what? It's like, why? Why are you suddenly become red? Wait, blushing? You guy? What are you gonna do about this atmosphere? Sorry, Jean. It's because of the evening glow. Everyone's red now. It was like blushing. Yeah, even Jean is. If it's like that, we can't do anything about it. Cause, okay, everyone will take care of us. That's why he might have become more aggressive towards everyone else. Guess. 
Because that's how strongly it feels. That's why. You're saying it's all for our sake? That's not it. In the past, even knowing how strong you were, that guy always made sure to keep you at a distance when Titans were on the front line. But now, he has to arm and destroy the port and summon you to the battleground. As well as Connie and Sasa. Oh, she's dead. Mm. You were supposedly special to him. That's... That must be because he had faith in us. If we didn't turn up, he wouldn't have been able to do anything. If we hadn't gone, Sasha wouldn't have died either. Akasa. When Sasha died, do you know how Aaron reacted? Do you think he cried or got angry? Connie, stop it. He laughed. Wait, did he? No, he... I wonder, what was so funny about Sasha dying? Explain to me, Mikasa, why Aaron laughed. When it, uh, when it comes to Aaron, you know everything, right? Let's speak with Aaron. Huh? Gonna see. Me, Mikasa, and Aaron, the three of us. I'll try to arrange for us to meet and talk. Talk in the way. The Titan's going in. Before the one and only time that Aaron used the Fountain's power, Dina, the time with royal blood, was captured and eaten by the Sauron Titans. That wasn't Dina's will, it was because Aaron willed it. In other words, Dina's Titan was the trigger for the Fountain Titan's power, but it's not the one that controls it. The one who controls it is Aaron, who possesses the Fountain Titan. It should also apply to Aaron and Zeke. Of course, yeah. If that's the case, even if, even if Zeke is playing something, if Aaron rejects it, it won't work. So as long as Aaron, who holds that decisive power, is aligned with our aims, there's no problem. And what will, and what will you do if Aaron's aims are the same as Zeke's? For the army, who has the Titan Serum, there's no, there is a choice. No way. We transform someone else we can trust into a Titan. And have them inherit Aaron's found Titan. You're kidding. Oh, is Aaron going to turn coat? But Aaron still has time left. I know. So let's confirm Aaron's true intentions. And then explain that Aaron is on our side. He's looking grumpy. Okay, we got Zeke camping with Levi. Oh, we got... Daco and, um, what's her name? We escaped really far. And Gabby, yeah. Hey, take off that armband. It draws attention, okay? Even, even if a normal person sees it, they won't know what it is. If a soldier sees it, they'll know. Just take it off. Why would there be a soldier out here in the middle of nowhere? If you keep it on, you'll, uh, you'll eventually get discovered. And there's no way we can get back to Marley. There's no way we can go back to Marley. I just want to find Zeke and ask him before I get captured and killed. Why he betrayed us, betrayed Marley. Why he, why he did it. Do what you want. You don't have to follow me. Fine. I'll, I'll do what I want then. Throw this away for you. And he's like, snatch it off. She's like, huh? Give it back. Ow. Wait, why is she doing this? Why? What good will this do? I'm a good Eldian. Oh, she's frightened. She thinks they're gonna, I don't know, somebody, whatever. If I don't have that, I'll become the same as the devils of this island. What? Okay. What are you talking about? Have you gone crazy? Then leave me alone. Ugh. Like, why do you have to follow me? There's no need for you to die too. Oh, who's this? What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. Who's this? It's early in the morning. Where did you come from? Uh, I don't want to say. We are home. Huh? When we finally escaped. Hey. Oh, she's picking a rock. So now, we can't go back. We can't go back. Okay. You're hungry, right? My house is close by, so follow me. He friendly? To them? Like, he, oh, he takes the rock from her hand. Places it down. Behind him. After investigating the beast Titan's corpse. We discovered the the, disember, uh, the dismembered parts of his body after it had been ex uh, exploded to pieces. Ooh. However, it's not enough. In order to deceive us, he has faked his death. 
I believe Zeke escaped hand in hand with the higher ups of the enemies of Paradise Island. If, if Peck's suspicions are correct, from at least four years ago, Zeke appears to have started gathering accomplices, accomplices from within the Marlin army. Got Peg and Reiner. This newly developed 3D maneuver gear, uh, 3D MG gear. Why, why, why is there gear after MG? Okay, incorporates Marlin technology, and the airship they escaped on could not have been operated without military training. So they like went two together. He must have let one of his comrades infiltrate the Paradise uh, surveillance missions. One of his alien restorationist comrades, that is, Ku. So they found out that he's part of the restorationists. Shoot. We fought, we fought beside each other all this time. And he turned out to be a traitor, of course. We can't just leave things be. Those foreign higher-ups and journalists who were there in the crowd experienced the attack on Marley and have spread the word about the danger of Paradise Island. Like rushing out. And soon, Marley and other world powers will join together to form the great allied forces, just like Willie Typer appealed to everyone that day. We can't wait until the end of Zeke's tenure. Within the next six months, the great allied forces will carry out its, its scorched earth strategy on Paradise Island. Six months? Will Gabby and Falco's rescue operation take place in six months time as well? Wait for the great allied forces to assemble. Attacking Paradise Island now uh, would be to bite off our, our own head like last time. Zeke must be thinking that too. That the Marlin army wouldn't carry out a counterattack so soon after receiving such a terrible blow. And he's not the type to sit still and wait for what's to come in six months' time without coming up with his own plan. There's, so you're sure Zeke's plan is something right now? Yes. He must have something in mind. If we are to collapse that if we are to collapse that plan, like Reiner's like coming or something? We can't afford to wait until the Allied forces assemble. We must carry out. We must carry out an ambush attack on Paradise Island. Like, there's no path of retreat from this battle. To be continued in the next issue. Why would it not be continued in the next issue? Okay. Wow. I wonder about like uh, Falco and um, Gabby. They were about to like murder that woman. I wonder if she's like, she knows who they are, or she knows, or if she soon finds out who they are, she'll report them something? Probably not. Hmm. And her story, like, got pregnant by uh, a no-name guy? Yeah. Just help her? They weren't really, like... Try and back cross him. And Reiner really wants to go in. Hmm, well, um, yeah, what are your thoughts? If you're new, slip all that comment. If you enjoyed the chapter, leave a like. Thank you for watching, and have a good rest of the day. Bye.